Alright, here we are, folks. Um, I've been testing my HHO generator on my 95 Nissan Skyline. Um, pop the hood and show you what I'm working with. Let's see here. This is a uh, twin cam 24 valve 2500 Nissan Skyline engine. Uh, straight six cylinder. <coughs> got two boosters in here. I got one right there. And one right here. I tried to put them both by the grill cuz that would be the best spot to put it since uh you're getting quite a bit of uh, air draw. So that one runs about 20 degrees hotter than this one here. So I don't have that one hooked up to uh electrical system yet, so I've <coughs> I'll demonstrate by using jumper cables today. Uh, I got my on and off switch right here for this one, as I have ran out of wire to uh, to route the switch on the inside of the car, so let me hook up my uh, alternator really quick. But let me start the car really quick. That way, uh, get the engine warmed up. So right now it's going to run a little bit higher and. Uh, RPM since the car isn't warmed up yet, so we're going to go ahead and hook everything up while it's warming up. And uh, I'm using uh, distilled water and baking soda for my boosters. Um, I ordered some I ordered some uh, sodium hydroxide, but uh, I sent it lowest priority, and I'm in J in Japan, so it's probably going to take about a month to get here, and I couldn't wait a month. So. booster in the back will be hooked up with power first. And already you can see the bubbles going to town. So by the way, the pipe, PVC pipe for that is uh, made by Mitsubishi. First time I'd ever seen pipe made by Mitsubishi. We'll go ahead and put the uh, put the power on for the second one. You'll hear a current draw on the uh, engine. Maybe not too much right now since the uh, engine's still warming up. It's about 1,100 RPMs right now, and that would be for this guy down here. See this bubble going off. I can't see it right now to the center of it. Well, like I said, I would have had preferred put the bulk right there, but I got my tube in routed over here behind the headlight. And right to the intake. I think both of these units combined, I'm getting about uh, two and a quarter, I think two and a quarter liters per minute put together, I believe. I haven't really uh, been able to measure it out right. But each one of these uh, canisters is uh, 16 stainless steel plates, uh, the wall socket plates, of course. Uh, basically, the smack bo booster design I've uh, I've copied. I like his design. It's relatively uh, simple to to build, especially since I'm a a beginner, and uh, parts are relatively cheap. But uh, this one here came from parts from the U.S. I had to order everything online. Um, my other booster, it was really hard to find parts because, uh, I don't know, like 90 degree elbows and sh stuff like that, 
I don't know, Japanese don't believe in plastic parts and 90 degree elbows. Everything's straight fitting. If you look at that, uh, it's brass fittings all over that thing. Brass, uh, stainless steel fittings for my bubbler that uh, screw onto the 90 degree elbow. Um, had to use a crap load of uh, hose clamps everywhere. <coughs> and uh, brass fittings and Teflon tape and all that good stuff. But uh, it's funny, uh, this one's working a lot better than my other one. Uh, at operating temperature, um, the only uh, unfortunate thing is this booster in particular, since it's mounted in the back by the firewall, gets up to about 125 degrees and uh, sometimes 130. The one up front here, the heat shrink, is, or the uh, 16 stainless steel plates is covered with heat shrink. Uh, the smack says it's best to uh, cover them. You get, uh, you get a whole different uh, series of uh, better readings as far as uh, lower amp draw, lower, lower heat for longer periods of time. Um, unfortunately, I was only able to get one piece of heat shrink, so I covered this one. And that one, you can definitely see a difference in the two. This one runs hotter. Well, because of, because of its location, one, and because of the heat shrink not being on. So, this one runs at about 105 degrees after about, that's three hours straight even. Plus, it's getting, it's getting a hefty uh, wind draw by my fan right there. So, after a while, my little ghetto setup of this it's jumper cables will go away. And I'll get some wire, and this little ghetto switch right here will be mounted on the inside. Um, like I said, I've only had a little bit of wire to work with. But, you see if there's any steam output or anything. Nothing yet. It's running at uh, less than a thousand RPMs. Let's give it some gas. Yesterday when I was revving it, sometimes it would stay at 1500 RPMs and uh, the RPMs wouldn't go below that. But uh, I'd shut the engine off and start it back up and it would run below 1000 RPMs. I don't know what causes that. Um, any, if anyone has any ideas on that part, it would be helpful. But uh, the bubbler is still bubbling away. After about 30 minutes, it, it really starts cranking out more than that. My only, my other problem is, is I, I get water that travels up towards my intake. All that moisture and condensation. I may need to get a better bubbler system, or actually my boosters may have too much water in it. This lower one here. So you can see this muck. So other than that, that's uh, what I'm working with. Any comments, negative feedback, anything is helpful because uh, I am a beginner. And this is my first actual project setting it up to the car. So thank you. Hope you liked it. And uh, you guys take care.